evening, everybody. Welcome back. After Mother Nature impacted several high school football games in the Valley last night, several got moved to Saturday. We'll start in Greencastle as the North Unites look to start 2-0 for the fourth straight season against the Tiger Cubs. Coach Rates going for career win number 99 this afternoon. Early third and 13 for the Knights. Colton Bath fires across the middle to Gage Thompson, who catches it in stride, takes it inside the 35-yard line. Later on the drive, fourth and goal. Bath lofts it to a wide open. Gage Thompson once again. They connect, this time in the end zone for a touchdown. Knights lead it 7-0. Next, Northview drive. Colton Bath calls his own number on the quarterback sneak for another score. Northview led it 13-0 after the touchdown and 16-0 at halftime. Second half, Bath getting it done through the air once again, finding his favorite target, Avery Perry, who's going to dive across the pylon for six. Perry, four catches, 72 yards in that touchdown. Bath had three total touchdowns on the day. Knights keeping it rolling later on. Later, it's Bath dialing up the deep ball. How about the freshman, Jake Rates? Coach Rates' his son bringing it in, setting Northview up inside the 15, and that would lead to a Slade Fell touchdown. He punches in one of his two rushing touchdowns. The Knights roll to a 44-7 win to improve to 2-0 on the season. Here's Coach Rates after the win. You know, I thought our guys did a really good job of maintaining a level of focus, you know, with all the delay last night, the reschedule, then we delayed it again. Uh, you know, I thought our kids stayed locked in all the time, and they were definitely ready to play. Uh, we didn't give up the big plays. You know, Greencastle has big playability with the quarterback. Uh, I thought we did a better job of, of eliminating those big plays. Uh, and overall, as a team, I thought, you know, we weren't cramping around or cramping like crazy, but, it, you know, it helped that it was a little bit cooler today. But I do think we got better this week, and now the key is we got to continue getting better next week.